Hello everybody, my name is VirusLur1, and I am back to bring you guys the next video on my Windows NT 4.0 series. Today, we will be looking at Windows NT 4.0 pre-beta build 1175. Now, this is the setup screen. It looks relatively the same. Nothing too different about it. Oh, we got a new screen over here. Um, it's uh, asking us about um, the settings. It's kind of usual for us to see something like that. Um, I've had a couple problems with these builds. Um, there's some builds that just don't boot up at all, or when they are using setup, they just hang at the setup. So I won't have too many videos out on these. It'll probably be as long as maybe my Chicago build series, but it's still significant enough to see the actual development. So today we're going to be looking at the server variant of Windows NT. Ah, here we go. So we finally have text files on a uh, text on here. So that's nice. So, oh, and it's uh, yeah. So our name and organization. We're going to put my name virus alertable. So I'm saying this is the server edition. So I gotta. I, uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about this build. See, as you can see, server edition. This is um this talks about like what server if it's a server or by server per or per seat. And yeah. So it's it's nice, yeah. So you guys can see a little bit of the server side because there's some builds that just come in a workstation, and there's some builds that just come in server. So we'll also be looking at that, and then it's asking for our networking, and I actually do have networking, so we will be able to see that. Uh, we'll see the networking capabilities that Windows NT was uh, supposed to have 4.0. So this will be the server variant. This build was compiled on the 1st of December 1995 so near the early end of 1995 is when this was uh, when this build was being made and so as I said this is the only build that's been leaked in, in the server variant so this build number is the only is the only real uh, beta build that's been released for server so uh, we don't have the workstation version for this uh, build so we won't be able to see the workstation so as we can see it says beta build well it says just build 1175 so as we wait for this um, operating system to load up here we go let's see here all right press control alt delete to log on all right and we'll do that let's see I think this um, icon moves or no it doesn't oh wait <laughs> I guess it's a little spoiler <laughs> yeah because the icon will move so We'll see when that happens. Stay tuned. So, um, kind of wait a little bit because, you know, loading. So here we go. Let's see. Here we go. We're finally here. So it looks relatively the same from the other one. Let's see what's changed. So the little tap, the little sidebar changed to NT server. So we have games. Everything looks like it's properly capitalized. So we got freestyle, minesweeper, and solitaire. Same. Same over here. Calculator. No changes with calculator just yet. Let's see, what else do we got here? Let's see. So the accessories, we got, um, yeah. Pretty much everything looks relatively the same. We got terminal telenet. Ah, here we go. We got a couple new things in the server variant. Server manager, Windows NT diagnostics. So we have that. Let's see this. All right. All right, so it looks like we have nothing else here. Let's check out the network neighborhood and see what we can find on here. Uh, maybe it's not gonna load. Okay. Ah, okay, so here we go. So C drive. Oh, that's a new folder. Program files is a new it's a new folder. The found dot zero zero zero. Here's WinNT, here's our system thirty two. We got some new oh it looks like it had some cursors. So you guys could um you know customize the cursors on this. We're gonna look at the Win version. Here we go. It says build eleven seventy five, so that's nice. To 1985 copyright year so that pretty much goes with what we were talking about so a couple of new things have been added into the system 32 folder look at the system folder okay that doesn't have the i think they i think here is when they start adding the font somewhere else because uh the fonts in the last build were in the system folder but now it's not there so we got users here we go Let's see i'm sorry guys it's my mouse that's messing up default okay, so there's nothing in default okay so it's still the same there let's see what else do we got here let's explore a little bit let's go look at control panel really quick ah we got a couple new things we got scuzzy adapters server telephony uh um U ups yeah you know for um the 
it's a little pack where you don't have to uh, so if like a power outage goes out you don't you lose any data so the administrator can come right in and turn off save all any work and close the server so they don't lose any data here so this shows like how many files have been accessed on the server depending on what they were doing networking shows our networking adapters it still doesn't have ie ie2 yet so uh, i don't see that yet we got our mouse looks like um the regular style mouse from windows xp actually yeah except it doesn't have the test area with that one yeah i'm sorry guys my mouse is just acting up right now we got our pointers our motion pretty pretty same there we go we got dinosaur there we go oh i guess i can't use that one okay okay come on okay okay i used to use this um when i was little honestly i used to use this um dinosaur when i was little it was nice i liked it so we could change our our cursor yeah it's nice let's explore just a little bit more actually to briefcase oh no it's giving an explanation of briefcase that's really nice it's nice of microsoft adding some little touches and tweaks here let's see what we got here so our documents folder is still empty it's gonna be empty um i think that's really about it thank you guys so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and thank you guys for the support you've been giving me virus eliminable signing off